I think I'm not sure how I'm feeling this choker with this color because I had the black one on, but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. I'm not sure how I like it, but we're gonna go with it. All right, hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got at Ulta and um, a few things from CVS and like two things from Target, but I just decided to just put them all in this Ulta bag and show you guys because they are makeup products, so why not just show them all at once? This is the Pixie Glow Mist, and I am obsessed with this. I just got it like maybe two, two weeks ago, and I've already used that much. This is basically a mist that you spray on your face, and it's supposed to give you a glow, and I 100% agree with that. This is very, very hydrating, so if you have oily skin, I'm not sure how this will work for you. I don't know if you can see, but up here is all the oil, so you really have to shake it before you spray it on your face. Next thing is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. I already have one of these, but I decided to get another one because I'm almost done with the other one that I'm using right now. And I heard they changed the formula, so I have not felt the way this one feels. So let me see if I can get this open. And I apologize if you can hear my son in the back. He is up. So, oh my gosh, I messed up my bobby pin. It definitely feels a lot smoother and creamier. So Dulce de Leche Contouring Palette by Wet n Wild. I also picked up these three polishes by Wet n Wild and they are the One Step Wonder Gel. I have this shade which is condensed milk on my nails right now. I think it's the perfect super pale pink, almost white looking polish. I don't like the way like straight up white looks on my nails. I prefer to do something more of like um, a super light pale pink instead of white. So I thought this was perfect. Crime of Passion, perfect red i really like these and i'm actually gonna go buy some more the other shade that i got was a pink it's just basically a hot pink it's in the shade it's sherbert day basic hot pink um i have not used this my mom used it on her hands and it looked really really nice i got two real technique sponges i don't know why i didn't get the twin pack but i did get two of them and they're both for me two face primer and i've heard so many good things about this this is supposed to hydrate your face before you um, apply your makeup and it's also a primer uh hydration a hydrating primer there we go but it's most like coconut I tried it already and I really like the way it makes my face feel it does hydrate it and I have been liking it so far the next thing that I got was the melted oh hmm, was a Too Faced melted matte liquid lipstick this one's in the shade child star so it's basically a very nude mauvey pink kind of thing let me show you a swatch there we go. That's actually what I'm wearing on my lips uh, under the Literally Lip Gloss by Kylie. So I really like this. It dries matte and it lasts a long time. All right, so the next things that I purchased from Ulta were the Maybelline Eye Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. And they look like this. Basically, they come in a tube looking like they're lip glosses, but they're really not. So this one's in the shade Gilded Rose. So, so pretty. I have actually this on my lid right now. So pretty. Beige Luster. And let me see, what can I swatch this? Yeah. So pretty. It looks like a, a bronze beige color. This next thing that I got from Ulta is the Physician's Formula Highlight in the shade Beige Pearl. And this is what it looks like in the pan. I think it's a great drugstore highlight even though it's like $12, $13. So I did purchase four Ulta matte lip creams. These are the four colors that I got. So pretty and they all look basically almost the same. So this one is Courageous. The next one is in the shade Bombshell and I like this one so much. This one's more of a pinky, mauve brown stirring. I hope I'm saying that right. This one is like of a super dark maroon vampy shade. I already tried applying this and it was kind of streaky so I did not like that about it. I love this one. It's called Artistic. And this one's more of a pink nude everyday shade. I like it so much. So the last thing is the Anastasia Foundation Stick. Mine is in the shade Warm Natural. I actually have a first impression. I'll link it in the description so you can check it out if you have not already. I think it fits me perfect. So this is what the actual tube looks like. Very, very sleek, very nice, clean. Love it. 
so that was it for this haul. If you guys enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I also went shopping the other day for some clothes and I'm waiting for some shoes to come in the mail. So if you guys want to see what I got, then let me know because I will film that for you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.